The second video, I want to show you how to use um, a very easy formula in Excel. Um, let's say that, and this happened to me recently, um, I was being overcharged by the athens Clark County Water Business Office. Um, and let's say that um, I wanted to sort of keep track of the last four bills that I paid. Okay, so we'll call this, uh, I'll call this Statement 1, or athens Clark County Water Business Office. Um, and I'll call this statement one. Maybe I'll have a date here. Um, I don't know. I'll make up some dates, such as October 1st, 2012. Um, let's call this statement two. Um, and right now I'm just sort of making up some information. Um, and maybe this is statement three. I'm going to do four and show you. Ten, like everybody, <laughs> if I really got billed each day, that would that would not be good. Um, but I could say the bill amount. Um, let's say that statement one, the bill amount was one hundred forty-five dollars and ninety-seven cents. Um, let's say the second day it was thirty-six dollars and seventy-nine cents. The fourth day it was $199.54, and on the last day it was $68. Okay. Uh, one of the things you'll notice is Excel will automatically take the zeros away, um, and you can change that by saying, you know, I'd really like, ah, I'd really like some more zeros or less zeros, and you can use these buttons if that bothers you, um, which means Excel can calculate you know, past the tenths and the hundredths place all the way to the thousandths and ten thousandths. You could also tell them that, you know what, this is actually a money amount. Um, but this isn't a money amount, so I'm going to take that away. And I don't need that many zeros. Okay. Um, so let's say that I want to know, what is my, you know, my total of these four statements? Okay. Um, what I could do in Excel is enter a formula. Um, and if you click on the formulas tab, Okay, you'll see some formulas here. Um, they also have quick access to some formulas that are commonly used, such as a sum, average, max, min. Um, but I usually find myself using the sum formula, uh, which is this one as well, auto sum. So let's say I click on auto sum. Okay, so right now it wants to know, well, what am I supposed to add together? So I'm going to tell it I want this first number, the second number, the third number, and the fourth number and then click enter. Okay, and so what it's saying is that my total bill, it added all of these numbers together and this is the amount that I'm getting. Okay, um, another thing that you could do is maybe what, you know, what is my bill average running over the four days? Um, and so here I could actually do the average and let's say I'm going to take this number, this number, this number, and this number. Um, and I want the average of all four of these. Wow, that really baffles me. I'm not sure why it is showing up this way. But one of the things I could do is um, divide this number by four. So I could actually write my own formulas in this toolbar. Um, and then it gives me an average of these four numbers. Excel should have done that with the formula. But it's kind of a neat feature that I, sh that I can you know, change the formula up here to make it whatever I want it to be. This means that, you know, if you're in a math class and you actually need to figure out some calculations, you can take numbers that you have in your cells and, and you know, add them together, subtract them, multiply them, do whatever you'd like to do with them. Um, and just using parentheses and brackets will allow you to, let's say I take all of these numbers Okay, I'm going to take this whole formula here, and now I want to multiply this by, I don't know, let's just say some daily rate of 63. Okay, um, then I can actually just type that in myself. Um, so it's, it's kind of neat that you can make your own formulas in Excel. And if I get rid of that, again, it goes back to the average bill of $112. Now remember, if I want to print this out, um, I can make this look a little nicer by making it bold, um, maybe adding a background color. Um, and then I want to make sure to select all of my data and, and put borders around it.
Okay, and it might be that I want this number highlighted. Um, so maybe I fill this box with yellow. Like this is a number I want people uh, to be aware of. Um, and so that's basically how you use formulas in Excel. Um, there are many, 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 many other things that Excel does that I'm still learning. Um, just to show you one other thing though, let's say that a, f a fifth statement came in and I wanted to add this uh, to my table. Um, I could click on uh, a row to the left and I could say, you know, insert insert another row. When you, when you just click insert like this though, it's going to insert above. So let's say I add statement 5 and maybe that was on the 5th. And let's say that it was $100. Um, then what I would need to do is fix this formula so that it also includes, and I could just write plus, um, it also includes this cell and click enter. Um, the same goes for this one. I'll want to make sure to add. And I can actually just type in C11 or I can click on C11. Okay, and click enter. And that's basically how you would add. The same thing goes for adding uh, columns. Um, you could just, you could either go up here to insert, okay, um, insert cells or insert a column that way. Um, if you want to delete a column, you would just click on it and, and delete. Um, ah, that's not working. Um, you could go edit, delete. Okay.